you talking about, Kimberly? <laughs> what you talking about, Willis? What you talking about, Mr. D? What you talking about, Adelaide? <laughs> he was the little guy everyone loved. Gary Wayne Coleman ruled the 70s as Arnold on the hit show Different Strokes. As one of the highest paid child actors, it wasn't hard to see why he was number one on VH1's Greatest Kids Stars list. Born in Zion, Illinois on February 8, 1968, Coleman racked up numerous awards, including four People's Choice Awards. Adopted by W.G. Coleman and Edmonia Sue, Coleman dealt with the kidney disease that limited his growth to four feet, eight inches. He underwent an unsuccessful kidney transplant in 1973, but that didn't stop him from following his dream. Appearing on the Jeffersons, The Times, and more, it wasn't until Coleman got casted in different strokes that everyone realized his talent. Everybody knew him as Arnold Jackson, Willis Jackson's adorable baby brother with the mind that didn't hold back any thoughts. They were two brothers from Harlem adopted by a wealthy white widower in Manhattan. The show instantly became a hit, running for eight seasons, but not without a plethora of troubles behind the scenes from the cast. From drug abuse to dating each other, there were many issues on set. However, that didn't stop Coleman from being the star of the show, earning nearly $100,000 per episode, and his favorite catchphrase, What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> in response to Willis, played by Todd Bridges. According to sources, in Todd Bridges' autobiography, Coleman worked extremely long hours on set, despite his age and health condition, which contributed to him being unhappy and separating himself from the rest of the cast. Coleman also struggled with financial and legal issues. His parents, financial advisors, and lawyers took most of his money and left him with less than a quarter of his earnings from different strokes. Later, he successfully sued his parents and former advisors for mishandling his finances and was awarded $1.3 million. He also won another $1.2 million from suing them in 1993. As he got older and his career began to fluctuate, Coleman started acting out in public. In 1998, he was charged with assault for punching a security guard. The guard, a woman, was a fan of Coleman and asked for an autograph while Coleman was shopping and Coleman refused. The guard then mocked Coleman's career, which resulted in Coleman punching her in the face several times in front of witnesses. He was ordered to pay her hospital bill and take anger management classes. In 1999, he filed for bankruptcy protection. In 2007, he met his wife, Shannon Price, who was only 22. They later divorced a year later, and Coleman even had a protection order against her, but continued to live together under a common law marriage since Coleman's health was declining. Coleman passed away on May 28, 2010, after suffering an epidural hematoma.